Let's talk about one of the most not so talked about blend modes in Photoshop and that is a difference and you'll be blown away to see how useful that is whether you're retouching or compositing and today we're going to study exactly how it works and what are its fantastic applications so without any further ado let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and before we dive deep into difference, it's essential that we understand this. Now here's the thing, every color that you see on your screen is composed of red, green and blue. You knew that, right? It's composed, it can be broken down into values of red, green and blue. The minimum value of each of those is zero and the maximum value is 255. So you choose any color, open up this uh, color picker and you choose any color, you will see different values of R, G and B, red, green and blue. Okay, so any color you select, every color has a unique value and proportion of R, G, B. Now, let's go ahead and understand difference. Now what does difference do? It actually shows you the difference. And this is literally what it does, it actually shows you the difference. If I go ahead and create a new layer. Okay, and then let's make a rectangular selection and fill it up with completely red color. So let's go ahead into the color picker and let's choose a completely red color. So this is completely red, value of R is 255, green is zero, blue is zero. Okay, click OK and let's fill it. So we would fill it, Alt backspace. Now create another layer with the selection still intact. Selection is still intact. Now we will choose green. So completely green, just like that, green should be 255, value of R should be 0, blue should be 0, green 255, which is the maximum value for each of those chambers. Click OK. Now fill it up with green, Alt backspace, Controller command D. Now we have red and we have green. Now if you change the blend mode of green to say difference, look what happens. If you change it to difference, it becomes yellow. Now here's what's interesting. If you change this back to normal, put red above it and then change the blend mode to difference, it's again yellow. Now here's what's happening, okay? If you create a merged layer, which means whatever you see right now, if you merge all of those and create a new layer by pressing Control, Alt, Shift or, and E, if you're using a Mac, it would be Command, Option, Shift and E, it creates this new layer which is merged with yellow thing that we just saw. Now, if we open up the color picker again, now here's the magic, here's the fun part. If we open up the color picker again, and if we pick and sample this color, look at the values of RGB. R is 255, green is 255, B is zero. Are you catching what's happening here? So the value of red was 255, zero, zero. Value of green was zero, 255, zero. What is the difference between 0 and 255? 255, right? So, R255. What's the difference between 0 and 255 in this chamber? 255 again. What a surprise. What's the difference between 0 and 0? Zero? 0. And that's what's happening. Whether you pick any color, any random color, all it does is that it chooses the difference values in each of these chambers. Okay, and since a layer can be above or below, the color doesn't matter, the values will never go in minus, the values will never go negative. If you're subtracting 25 minus say 100, it, it won't take it that way, it will always reverse it, 100 minus 25, okay, you have the idea now. Okay, now, much about maths, now let's talk about its applications. Now what can be its applications, let's imagine it for a second, okay, so if you had say let's go ahead and if you had two layers in red okay let's delete the green layer now we have two layers of the same color let's go ahead and change the blend mode of both of them to normal normal okay both of them were different now if you change the blend mode of the upper layer to difference watch what happens if you change it to difference it becomes black why is it becoming black the value of red is 255, zero, 0,0. We subtracted 255, zero, 0, So we have 0, 0, 0. And what is triple zero? Black, right? Now here's what's interesting. If I move it, have a look. Now if I move it, I will clearly be able to see that this is not aligned. And we can take advantage of this thing. So if you're a photographer creating HDR manually, here's how this can be useful. In this document, as you can see, I have two photos of the same place and one is a little underexposed 
and one is a little overexposed. I wanted to combine them to have a higher dynamic range. So as you can see in this photo, this area is a little blown out. Now you would say doing this is very easy, just rub out this area from this one so that the area of this layer will show up. But before that, we need to align it properly. Now, I, you know, you can always go decrease the opacity and then align it just like that. You can move it and align it, but that's the old fashioned way. Instead, how about let the opacity be at 100, change the blend mode to difference. Now, easily you can go ahead and just match it very simply, just like that. Now there is a way to automatically align layers, but in case that doesn't work or you want to manually do it, this is the way. But in composites, when you're compositing or photo manipulation or even retouching, there isn't a way that you can automatically align. And that time, difference can be your best friend. As you can see in this example, if we zoom in closely, one eye is bigger than the other. Okay, this one is bigger than this one. And that might be the beauty of it, and that is the beauty of it. But if you're doing something for a magazine, and if you have some commercial projects going on, you might wanna equalize them. Here's what you can do, okay? So select this eye, select the lasso tool, go ahead and select this eye, and bring it on its own layer, controller command J, now it's on its own layer, okay? Flip it, controller command T, right click on it, and flip horizontal and place it here. Now, how would you exactly place it in the right place? Simple, difference. Change the blend mode to difference, see? When it lines up, stop, it automatically, I just lined it up. There we go, just lined it up properly. When it becomes the most black, change the blend mode to normal. There you go, and you just have to make the edges a little smoother. So create a mask and take a brush, make sure the foreground color is black, make it a little smaller, and simply paint around the edges, just like that. And there you have it. As simple as that. Done. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Now I know, this can look strange. Why is this looking strange? Have a look. Have a look at the highlights, catch lights of the eye. Now in this eye, the catch light is coming from the right top. Okay, but on the right eye, if you look closely, the cache light is coming from the left top, making it a little strange. So here's what you can do. You can come back to this layer, select the elliptical marquee tool, and then make a selection of this. Okay, press and hold space bar to move the circle. Okay. Then, there we go, just like that. A little more. Okay, now, controller command J, and put this above this, and then just move it of this one. There we go. Fit it in there and simply create a mask and just soften it out if you want to. Just like that with black, just a little bit on the outside. And there you have it. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Now you can fine tune it, but you get the point. Similarly, this can be very useful if you're compositing for things like, suppose you're swapping a head, and that time you need to make sure that the neck aligns and some features of the face align to make it look more realistic. In this example, as you can see, we're not swapping head, but if we make a copy of the background layer and change the blend mode to difference, guess what will happen? Okay, it becomes black. Why? Because it's completely aligned. When I try to break the alignment, controller command T, and when I take it a little to the right, just a pixel to the right, See, we see some edges. Here's where the alignment has broken. If we take it back to its original position, it becomes black. Why? Because the difference between the same colors are zero. Take it to the left, we again see some strokes, take it, up, uh, take it above, we see some strokes, take it below, we see some strokes. Now, is this taking you an idea? It gave me an idea to create something like this. This is just a 15 minute work, and if you put in more time, this can be much, much more better. But the main fundamental here is, at, is that I used those stroke information, those edge information, by moving it here and there, and used it to create a pencil sketch, the outline of the face, and you can do that too very easily, okay? So you just have to move it, you get the white, and then create a merged layer and then just invert it. You can create it multiple times, moving it up, moving it down, and make the strokes much more thicker. By the way, if you want a dedicated tutorial on this, let me know down in the comments below. So the last application, which I can think of from this blend mode, is getting some horror effects. Okay, so as you can see, I've already created it, it's simple. I placed just two images, one above the other, and changed the blend mode to difference. Change 
the blend mode of one of the images to difference and this gives you this kind of an effect just aligned it just a little bit it was kind of this way i just aligned it and there you have it just a horror effect just move it a little up there we go and wrote some text horror a film by whatever so that pretty much wraps up the difference blend mode what does it do just a quick reminder number one difference blend mode projects the difference between two colors the layer in which the difference blend mode has been applied and all the layers which is below it. Number two, you can use the difference blend mode for aligning stuff. When anything is completely aligned, see when two images are completely aligned, what difference will project is complete blackness, complete darkness. Why? Because the difference between two colors is zero, zero, zero. Completely black, RGB values, remember? Now, you can also use difference to give some kind of horror effects. Besides that, you can use difference for HDR, difference for compositing, that pretty much covers the alignment stuff. I hope this video helped and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, make sure that you keep creating. I would like to take this moment to thank all our supporters who are helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. If you want to support this channel, check the link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching guys.